What's going on guys? My name is Renzi and welcome to a different type of video. Today I'm going to be doing more of a reflection type reaction video and the reason I want to do this is because yesterday as you're watching this video I just turned 18 years old so I wanted to take the time and go back and reflect on myself as a person and what has changed about me in the past two and a half years of being alongside my friends in this group and making videos with them. So I am going to be reacting to my friends videos I've been partaking of before I started my channel and then go to the point where I have started my channel from the beginning and to now and these past two and a half years have been crazy I've met these guys and I they're like my family and I love them and I wanted to take this time for you guys to see my view what has made me as a person and what's gonna be coming in the future and I thought it was perfect because I'm about I'm about 50 subscribers away from a thousand and that's just really crazy all the support you guys have shown me is just so humbling and I can't appreciate it enough um, I want to thank you for that and there'll be more of a special video that will be coming out when I hit a thousand subscribers, so stay tuned for that. But let's get into it. Um, the first video I'm going to start with is a Minecraft series that me, Fran, and Zero Fox made a long time ago. It was when I first really met these guys and the first videos I was in. So I just want, I'm just going to go through the best moments that I thought was for me personally that I've done alongside my friends and that kind of set me off in the direction where I started my own channel and everything. So first I'm going to start off with a Minecraft series that me and Ben and Fran have started and yeah so we'll just I'll just talk during it and then pause in here and there throughout the videos but hope you guys enjoy and let's get into it. Zero I am praying right now me too. someone will come. Someone will well, come. I don't know man it just doesn't seem likely I mean, we do have one person that could save us. Who? Arrow Man. Arrow Man. I don't know why I thought of Arrow Man. We just... I just took a Green Arrow reference and I turned it into Arrow Man. I know it's pretty dumb, but you'll see. But Wait. too bad he's a myth. I see him. I see a name tag. Wait, what? <laughs> you think... You think that can possibly be Arrow Man? No, it can't be. <gasps> Wait. Special Ops. Swing down. It's Arrow Man! Arrow Man! Arrow Man! Arrow Man! <laughs> <laughs> I love how he face plants it. So, as you can tell, I had had a different gamer tag. This was before I got the Renzi name. Um, the KW Best Nation name was a thing where I used to be in a clan and everything. I have my own clan, but I decided to change it. The, I think it was after five or six months after knowing these guys I finally saw I was like okay I need to change my name and everything and that's where I became with Renzi as you know me now these this series was so funny and how like as we went through the series more people joined on like Ashley Cade and Ty Ty the Jedi and it was just really funny how we developed the story and how we'd mess around with each other as we went on with it no, 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 no. Hey, look, there's me. Man. There's me. Whoa. He's back. Hello, oh, he's everybody. It, now take, uh, okay. No, oh, 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 wait, it's Iron Man. Oh, he made it. He Dramatic made it. Dramatic landing. Like one heart. Superhero landing. Superhero landing. Punch <laughs> Arrow Man. Punch <laughs> Arrow Man. Punch <laughs> Arrow Man. Of course, he kills yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, Fucking Fran. <laughs> So the next video I'm going to be reacting to or reflecting on is the GTA 5 movie parodies that Fran had posted about two years ago and about two years ago this was really hard to do this project. This was a long process because this is around the time that everyone was in school and everything so it was hard to plan how to do this. We had to think of what movies we were going to do and how we were going to make it funny because we made parodies of it. That's why it was called movie parodies. and. I look back on it, it's just like some of these were just so weird and everything, but I thought it was so enjoyable. The time it took recording this and of us doing it and like making these scenes possible was so funny. It took like, even though it may have taken hours and days and a few weeks, I reflect on it and I thought it was one of the most funnest times of recording things alongside my friends and everything. I love you, Corbin. I love you, Randy. This was the bad time where I had this, the worst mic ever. Um, and this is before I had my wolf costume, so. I'm so cold. 
bring that ass here, boy. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's good. That's good. Corbin. Never let go, Corbin. The only thing that's not letting go is my third leg. <laughs> oh, that's what's so hard, poking. Oh my god, I'm done with this. I made the stupid <laughs> jokes. <laughs> there we go. Time to go to bed, fuckers. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> See, that was exactly because it was like 3 a.m. And I was like so tired. I was like, I want to fucking finish this scene so I can go to bed, because I knew we would have to record this in like the next day or the next few days because it was so long. So the next video I'm gonna be reacting to is a very iconic video that a lot of fans of us know, and that is the GTA 5 Bill Grills video. And this was one of the most funniest videos I partaked in because this was the creation of Bill Grills or Aaron. And I know he hasn't been around for a while, but uh, he is such a funny dude. And me being like part of this video and the thought process behind this was crazy. And I just had a lot of fun. Like this, this was a time where I met Aaron and then Justin or crew and they were like two of the funniest guys I've ever met. Hey, you see back me daddy? there, just fucking headphones. Oh, there's a lot. What the fuck am I doing? You've been corn, you bud? <laughs> Bill, what is that over there? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Bill, what is that over there? Is he like wiping the smell away? <laughs> oh, it smells so bad. <laughs> and then it smells like chalupas. Wait, <laughs> Bill. It smells like wait, wait, I don't know how to point again, I forgot. You no. <laughs> click the right stick, you input So during this it took me so long because in GTA, like of course it's so simple. You just have to push your analog stick to fucking point. And I was trying to point at something on the hill, and of course I just kept doing the action where I was waving my hands everywhere, and it literally took me like five, ten minutes, and we were dying of laughter of doing this, and it was just so funny. And so yeah, this was around the time I did change my name. It was, I think, this is one of the few videos I changed my name. And if you look at this, look at like Fran had to fuck with me into IQ level ten, homeless, gender. Well, that's Fran for you. Oh God, I remembered when I uh, was first trying to figure out my settings for my mic. This is like the first, like around the time when we all got our PCs or we got good PCs to finally record stuff on like Gmod and everything. And this is like my, one of my first solo games. And I was a bitch during this when I didn't know my mic settings. So I was like, sounded like I was far away or I was like, they weren't the best. God, the, the fucking joy of creation the cringe. Reborn. It's a different the cringe. adaptation. Are you here? Rise, motherfucker. Hey, what the fuck? What the fuck was that? Let's replay that. What was that reaction like? Rise, motherfucker. Hey, what the fuck? Think. Think. I cringe so bad at that. I remember I went back on this video and looked at it like if, just like a month ago and I was like, what the fuck? This was so bad. Like, I was like, oh my god. Just the bass drop. Is that what you guys are thinking? These are some very nice cherries. Wow. <laughs> Even though that may have been the worst title screen, or I could have came up with something better. I don't know. I, I thought at that time of editing, it was dope. There comes a time where one, one man, man will stand, stand up. up. This one man, man will face the, the factions, factions of war. war. The prophecy is that he will bring ballots to all the factions and conquer them and be their leader. That man, the legendary samurai, his name is Renzai. 
<laughs> so retarded. It's like, uh. <laughs> See, this was like a good Fuck it, we're doomed. Yeah, just the thing across to that. I remember when I made this video, I was like, it took me like an hour, hour and a half to think of what I was gonna say in that intro. I was like, what can I say? I, I swear, like, every time I go through a video, it takes me like five or six takes to be like, all right, this is what I gotta say. Yeah, my headphone is broken. Fuck it. I threw it across the room. Um, but it took me literally an hour, hour and a half to think of an intro. And I get pissed sometimes because then I fuck up while I'm like recording like a video and like making an intro. I'm like, what's up, guys? It's friends here today. And blah, 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 blah. But it's like. I would always get so pissed at myself, like, oh my god, I just want to get this intro right. And, like, it, I had to record different things. Like, I think this took me, like, around 20 takes to record the audio. And I was, like, I wasn't happy with any of them. And, but then this one came out. I was, like, yeah, this one this one was good. I I did like it. Um, and I, I just got, I got to be perfect on that. I got to be perfect on the voice and everything. And it worked out well. Alright, well, I think that is enough videos I need to react to because that leads up to pretty much now. So, to really go into it, me as a person, this past two and a year, two and a half years have been life-changing. Meeting my friends and just being in this group with these wonderful people and making this content for you guys. It's what I want to do. Like, it's what I want to do for passion. I'm passionate about YouTube and everything and just... And I love doing it. I love editing. I love making videos. And I love the comments I get from my videos and then my friends' videos about how people enjoy our videos and we think we're funny. And then that we deserve to make it somewhere and everything. It's so weird how, how much feedback I get from them. It's because I feel like I've barely done nothing. Like, I'm only almost at a thousand subscribers. That and that and that and a year on YouTube base is like basically just starting. And it's just crazy because I would be like, me and my friends would go into voice chats, like Discord and everything, and we would talk to fans. And they would be like, oh my gosh, Renzi, I love you. Renzi, like, you're funny. And just, it'd be crazy to me. And from people, what people message me saying, I love your videos, you deserve to be way bigger. It hits me in the feels because I don't know what to say sometimes. Like, I say, like, I'm not, like... I don't find myself that funny, but like people seem to enjoy me still. Like, it just makes me happy because I know it knows that I'm doing something right. My goal on YouTube is when I started thinking about it, like doing it, I was a 12 year little boy and the first videos I watched were Van Oss and everybody. And I was always like, I want to do this. I want to make people happy because I know that people go through a depressed times. People get bullied at school i've gone things i've gone through things myself where family issues and then being bullied in school just going through things that changed my life dramatically like honestly if some things didn't happen i probably wouldn't be doing youtube like because it drives me to make people happy and i want my videos in the future like i know i'm not the best i can be yet i'm still trying to find my style in videos or my comedy my goal is just to make someone's day better or make them smile or bring a laugh to them and everything. I just, it makes me know that I'm doing something right when I get those comments about something like, I love your videos, like it made my day and everything. I like making people happy. I always try to be there for people and I try to always have a positive attitude. I just want to do, I want to uplift someone's day or make someone's day better. And like, this is just the beginning. Like. A thousand subscribers almost which is crazy is just like wow I wouldn't be doing this I like, wouldn't be if it wasn't for my friends meeting my friends or being like building like a strong friendship with these guys I probably wouldn't have been driven to do YouTube they drive me they drive me to do this and everything and you guys drive me as a person you know you know the motto I say with stay spiffy I haven't really gone to detail about it. sure some people think it's goofy but I like to put a meaning behind it and I finally have one what stay spiffy means is from what the negatives come out in your life you must turn it into positives because you th you may think oh my gosh like I hate school or you have problems with families or you have this thing's going on in your life that just makes like a bad day or you're just depressed and everything and I understand that but you got to realize that when you're going into the future of your life that you're going to look back on it reflecting like I am right now. Like I'm reflecting on all the things I've been through to get to here. I 
won't regret it. I don't regret it because it's made me to the person I am. Like, I've changed from the little kid I was to now I'm thankful for it. It's helped me as a person become better. I believe that everybody can do that. You're little, you start off as a little kid and then you grow up to be an adult. You will reflect back and be like, wow. Like, even though all, out of all these negatives, it drove towards my positives. And all the negatives that drove towards me, all the negatives that inflicted me being bullied or having family issues to where I thought it was just, I thought my life was like over. Like I thought, what was I going to do with my life? But then this was my answer. YouTube, YouTube is my answer. I like making people happy. I like making videos. I like recording my friends. Like I really consider them family and they've just been there for me. And now it's my turn to be there for people. I want to make an impact on this world. So that's what stay spiffy means. You may have negatives right now, or you can take those negatives that you have or you've had in your past and you turn into positives and you reflect on yourself and make you a better person because it's going to be beneficial towards you. I promise you, you will look back and be like, wow, like sure, these things happened to me, but it's made me into a better person. That was pretty heavy. I hope you guys took something out of this video. I know it was a little different from not being a gaming video, but more reacting to my video. And it may have been kind of boring, but I hope you guys enjoyed it in some way. Please leave your feedback in the comments below of what you feel. Um, I am going to be responding to everybody. If you want to share something or want to say something in general, it'd be nice. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, stay spiffy.